Something that's good to know about Grid Calculator Pro Edition is that you don't need the plugin in order to open the files that have been created by the plugin. So if you want to send files to your printing company or to a colleague or anybody else that doesn't have the plugin, you don't have to worry about them not being able to open the files. Of course, they need the correct InDesign version to open those files, but other than that, it's not going to be any kind of problems doing so. So uh, let me show you how to edit your layout and uh, save your layout. Now, when you create a document with the plugin, you don't need to go to File, New, Document. That's the incorrect way of doing it. Instead, go to Designers Bookshop Green Calculator Pro Edition, Open Plugin. And then that's how you're going to create your new document. I'm going to set up something really simple here in order to show you how easy it is to edit your layout with the plugin. So i um, just going to enter some basic setup. Let me show you how to apply another master here before I go ahead with the editing of the document. What I did was I selected from this drop down here, add master. Then this dialog comes up and you only click yes here. If I want to switch back and forth between these two different masters and um, we support up to five master pages. All I have to do is select the one I want to edit. Now, let me show you something. If I go to this first master page here, I can edit my document setup. If I go to my secondary or any other following master pages, I can't do that. And the reason is because if you do that, you're going to mess up everything in uh, the first master. Let's go to margin columns and rows. And I'm going to switch back to my first master here and we can see that we have two totally different layouts, but it's based on the same letting value and the document grid. Those are the limitations of InDesign that you have to have the same letting throughout the entire document and the same document grid, but you can break, for example, let's say that I want to have my, uh, my margins fixed on the sides here. I could for uh, my secondary master here simply check value here and I can set up something that has nothing to do with the actual uh, grid itself but on my first master it follows the document grid in terms of the inner and outer margin okay let's click done here to exit but before I do that just a quick tip here if you want to hide the plugin you don't want to close it you can click hide here and it hides away. Click show, comes back again. So let's press done to exit the plugin. And let's say I wanna come back the following day and edit my layout. All I do is I go back and select the same thing here, open plugin. It brings up this dialog. Now the first dropdown is uh, where you can select between all the open InDesign documents. Now I only recommend that you work with one InDesign document at a time otherwise you're going to be confused at times and you're going to edit the incorrect document the other drop down is for our different masters here so if you want the plugin to take it directly into the secondary master or the first master just select whichever one you want from the drop down here we have another option here create new document but that is going to create an entirely new document and i only recommend working with one document at a time so make sure to first close this document and then create a new one anyway I'm just gonna click OK here and it's going to take me to my settings here and I can continue editing them if I want let's say I want something else here then I can simply select that and I can switch between my masters here 
So let me show you how to save your your layout. This is great if you have a if you're working with a client and uh, you're going to use the same layout over and over and over again. So instead of uh, opening an old document and resaving it and deleting all the content, simply save a preset with the plugin here. Now, if it is a very complex layout with a lot of paragraph styles and all of that, I do recommend keeping an InDesign uh, document backup. So simply click save here and um, enter the name of the preset. So I'm just going to name it to layout. And then we have uh, the client name. You can select an existing client or you can enter whatever you want here. I'm just going to enter a random name here and click OK. It gives you some information here telling you that it will only save the body copy of one paragraph style and uh, some other stuff that is good to know. So make sure to read that. Click OK. And uh, let's say that I want to apply this, this uh, preset. I'm going to close this document. I'm going to open the plugin and then I'm going to go to presets here. And I'm going to, I can hover my mouse over the preset. I, I'll get some basic information. And if I want to apply it, I'll, all I have to do is double click on it. And uh, let me show you that we also have our secondary master with its setting here. That's how easy it is to edit and save your layouts.